There's no easy way to say this, but we did break up. Something that seriously shocked the YouTube community lately has got to be Jeffree Star and his longtime boo Nathan Schwan's breakup. I, for one, was not expecting that. Although we know all there is to know about Jeffree Star for the most part, and his entire life is on YouTube and social media, we don't know nearly as much about Nathan. Today we're going to do a bit of digging and see what Nathan was like before dating Jeffree and anything there is to know about him. I know that all of you Jeffree Star fans are devastated from the breakup too, so I'm going to try to be as respectful as possible towards both Nate and Jeffree. I'm a fan too. Anyways, the couple had just moved into a new multi-million dollar mansion together to commence the new year. Little did we know that there was trouble in paradise. Yeah. How do you pick which stairway to go? <laughs> it's like spin the bottle, you just take a bottle and you just like go and then run. Is it the left wing, is it the right wing? Or like you go up one and Nate goes up the other and then you kiss at the top. Yes! <laughs> Jeffrey and Nathan had been together for like five years and Nate was there to witness the rise of Jeffrey's empire. Nathan has always been more low key though and is open about the fact that he's never liked the spotlight. For that reason, it's actually hard to find a lot about Nate's past or what he was like before he met Jeffrey. We do know Nate's 26 years old at the time of this recording, which makes him close to 10 years younger than Jeffrey. Nate is not on Instagram at the moment, and following the breakup with Jeffrey, he stayed quiet with his online presence. Some sources are reporting that Nate was cheating on Jeffrey, and they assume this because a few months ago he deactivated all his social media. Some say Nate went MIA because he was caught sliding into DMs of others, but that might be just gossip. There have been plenty of breakup rumors going around, and Jeffrey's had to try and address them. Um, I just wanted to quickly come on here. I know I live a very public life, so I like to be really transparent. I don't like when people make stuff up, so... A lot of you were like, are you and Nate like hanging out right now? I was in Orange County, which is like an hour and a half away from where I live in Hidden Hills. And I was visiting my grandma. Um, grandma Mary turns 103 this July, okay? Um, and I don't know how long she has left. So I have been visiting her a lot. I know I talked about that in today's video. So... Um, Instead of having my security guards or team watch my dogs, why not have Nathan, who raised them with me for years, watch them um, instead? So I know a lot of people are like, some nasty gossip was also saying that Nate left Jeffrey for a woman, but those were put to rest by Jeffrey himself on Twitter. He said, Wow, Nate is 10 feet away from me in the kitchen. How can anyone make up lies while him and I are both heartbroken and grieving? Truly disgusted by that, but not surprised. Yeah, I definitely believe Jeffrey. I don't think the two would be hanging out if that was the case. I also heard that Nathan has a new Instagram account, but I had no luck finding it, so I'm not sure if that's true. If you guys know what it is, let me know in the comments. What's going on guys and girls, my name's Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. Today's video is going to be a little different because Nathan has done a really good job of keeping his personal life pre-Jeffrey private. Nate also hasn't seemed to change too much in terms of his appearance over the last few years, aside from some more tattoos. Today we're going to talk about Nathan Schwant, his family life, as well as some stuff you may not have known about Nate and Jeffrey's relationship, here for you on Famous Entertainment. I've also done other celebrity transformation videos and we do house tour videos here too. Of course we covered both Jeffrey and Nate's old and new mansions, and we'll have links to some at the end of this video. If you like this channel, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss out. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. Now let's get into this video. It seems like Nathan and Jeffrey were dating forever, but they actually became an item back in 2015. Jeffrey has said that Nathan was the only person he's ever fallen in love with and still refers to him as his soulmate. So what was Nathan like before he became the famous boyfriend of Jeffree Star? Doesn't seem like he was much different than he is today, except now he's a lot more well known. Nathan Schwant was born in Michigan and his family still lives there in Grand Rapids. We also know he used to work at a pet store back home and his brother Zach used to work with him. Okay, so 
before I met Nate, he was living in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where he was from, and he worked at a pet store. Yeah, so he was like, what if we did a fish tank? And I'm like, okay, are you down to do like a Barbie fish tank? Are these fish rich? <laughs> they are. That is oh, you that's as a, a fish. That's the big kahuna. And, uh... We know Nate's younger brother, Zach, because he's appeared in some of Jeffrey's videos and posts a lot of Nate. Zach has posted some old family photos on his Instagram before though that show another brother as well, but I'm not sure of his name. I mean, he first told me we were actually working together and we were actually in store working at a pet shop. So he came up to me and he was like, yo man, like something crazy just happened. I might be flying out to California. And I was like, okay, what? Like, that's random. Zach actually moved out to California too shortly after Nate did, so they remain very close. Zach is two years younger than Nate and he's 24 at the moment. He's also a video gamer on Twitch and has almost 350,000 followers on Instagram. More recently, Nate's brother Zach experienced a seizure and was sent to the hospital. He's doing well now, but it definitely scared Nate and put some stress and worry on both Nate and Jeffrey. I'm sure they're all glad he's okay though. The boys seem to be close with their family, but at first Jeffrey and Nate didn't know if Nate's parents would be accepting of their relationship at first. Since Nathan's fam is from the Midwest, they thought they might be too old school. But once Jeffrey flew out to meet Nate's parents, he received nothing but a warm welcome. In no time, Jeffrey had a great relationship with Nate's family, just like Nate does, and the couple hung out with the family a lot. Nate and Jeffrey actually ended up purchasing a house in Nate's hometown of Grand Rapids, if you didn't know. You guys, I am on cloud nine right now. We just closed on our house here in Grand Rapids. So me, Nathan, and his mom and dad will be moving in in 15 days. Girl, I had never in my life thought I would ever be a resident of Michigan, but I am so excited to invest in a property. It is so stunning and beautiful, and I just want to, you know, have somewhere to be able to get away from LA for a week or two, just be in the woods and the peace and quiet and my big old sanctuary with my damn dogs. Um, but I'm really, really, really excited to start um, a new chapter with Nate and his family. Okay, so they never lived there full time, but Nate and Jeffrey bought it for Nate's family and would stay at the house whenever they were in Michigan. When you Google Jeffrey Star's house in Michigan, this is the house that comes up. I wouldn't be surprised if that was it because the house is huge. There are five beds, six baths, four half baths, three kitchens, and a six car garage. This Michigan home even has an indoor pool with palm trees and an upstairs man cave and game room. Jeffrey and Nate have kept information about the Michigan house very private, probably because Nate's family is living there and needs their privacy, as well as because it acted like a sanctuary for the couple. But if you guys know if this is the house or what it looks like, be sure to let me know in the comments. Throughout Nate's relationship with Jeffrey, they remain close with the family. The couple went to Michigan whenever they could, and with Nate's brother Zach in LA, he hung out with them a lot too. Zach appeared in videos with Jeffrey like I mentioned, which probably helped his social media and Insta fame. Even Nate's dad has gotten into the videos with Jeffrey, so we can see that the in-laws were happy with the couple. I gotta be really honest, the eyeshadow is like, actually pretty good, honestly. <laughs> okay, so now we know a bit about Nate's family, but let's talk about him and Jeffrey now and how they met. Before Nathan met Jeffrey, he was just living a normal life in Grand Rapids and actually lived with his parents still. Like I said, he's younger than Jeffrey, so it's no surprise and Jeffrey didn't mind either. The two met in 2015 and it was actually over Instagram where Nathan sent Jeffrey a DM. Well, it started with uh, me hitting him in the DM for one. It goes down in the DM. <laughs> Nathan had never even been out to Cali before, but he hopped on a plane to visit Jeffrey after they'd been chatting for a while. They said that it was just so natural and it felt like they knew each other forever. Their first date was at the Santa Monica Pier. The relationship progressed quickly, but this was still before Jeffrey had found his major success. Nate ended up leaving Grand Rapids behind and moving to LA with Jeffrey. Nate pushed Jeffrey to start pursuing his YouTube career too, and so it all began. Before Jeffrey, Nate apparently only dated women. Nathan had said, it's not about gender, it's more so about having a connection with somebody. And Jeffrey agreed, saying he loves that Nathan is his own person and follows his feelings, explaining, What's so cool about Nathan is he doesn't need a label. He's only been with women his entire life before meeting me. So even though over the years some may have been confused about Nathan's sexuality, I think that's all you really need to know. From everything we've seen and heard, it just seems like the two had such a real bond. Nate has really helped Jeffrey build his empire and been supportive through it all despite his distaste for being famous and in the spotlight. 
He's also managed to get himself up to a net worth around an estimated 500k, but by now I would assume it's much more. And it's certainly not just from being Jeffrey's boyfriend because I know some of you guys accuse the man of being a gold digger. When they met and started dating, Jeffrey actually didn't have much of anything, and Nate was there with him for the come up. Nathan has earned his own money through working on their businesses. Apparently, Jeffrey helped Nate start a successful marijuana business during the time they were together, and even put his name on the cosmetic line. Nate was in charge of running warehouse logistics for the business and did that full time before he started to devote more towards the marijuana business. Nathan's name is on Jeffree Star Cosmetics because he is heavily involved with that business too, as well as the merch. He creates and models some of the products, as well as working behind the scenes still. Nate and Jeffree even made their own line of Jeffree Star Cosmetics called the Family Collection. Some other things we know about Nate is that in his spare time he loves to cook and do outdoor activities such as camping. Both him and his brother Zach are skateboarders and have been doing that for ages too. Not to mention he's obsessed with Star Wars. ATSTs, ATSTs. So like I said, this would be a different type of before and after. There really isn't much dirt on Nate because he claims he never wanted to be famous and I can believe that. Even though some may accuse Nate of being with Jeffrey for the money or that he's not actually gay because he only dated women before, it's pretty hard to believe that when you hear the couple's history. Nate has become a valuable valuable part of Jeffrey's business ventures as well through their relationship, and I don't think Jeffrey would have been able to do a lot of it without his help and support. From the sounds of it, things between the couple didn't end nasty, so I'm sure they'll find a way to work together or divide the assets if that's not the case. And of course, Nate still has to be a doggy dad to him and Jeffrey's handful of Pomeranians. I guess Jeffrey and Nate just fell out of love and it wasn't working anymore, but whatever the reason they broke up, we're all still sad about it. I definitely wonder what's next for Nate, but I don't think he's about to start his own career as an influencer or YouTuber anytime soon. He may just lay low from social media. Alright guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Famous Entertainment. If you want to talk more about the Nate and Jeffrey news, you can hit me up on Instagram. I want to know what you guys think, are you shocked about the breakup? Any new information out there? Let me know in the comments. And let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!